Hello again, it's Cami from Cami's Closet. Welcome, well, welcome back to my channel. Um, just for a little bit of a recap, I just started um, uh, a little while ago. I'm fairly new. My uh, videos are pretty amateur. I'm not good at editing. Actually, I don't edit at all. Um, I don't know how to do much. My lighting is not always the greatest, but I'm candid and I'm honest. And however the video comes out, it comes out. So. What I normally like to do is bag reviews, um, what fits, unboxings, which I really call unbaggings, and I'll tell you why in a second, um, or whatever else you know I you know that might uh, spark interest. Anything that's in my closet, I might pull out and decide to share with you guys. So hopefully, you know, if you if you like this kind of stuff, stick around. If not, like I said before, I'm sure there's plenty more interesting videos. Anyway, this is a big one. This is a big one. And um, what I mean by big one, it's a big one. It's a big one. And it's my second uh, purchase from Fashion File. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm not, uh, I, I'm very hesitant about buying pre-owned. I've never bought any. Um, there aren't that many pre-owned in my collection. I bought one off of, it's actually, they were still new with tags, the pre-owned I bought, the two, one was a Louis Vuitton from Fashion File, one was a Loewe from Poshmark, and they were brand new with tags, um, however, still a pre-owned kind of site. Um, this bag, in particular, from Fashion File, was, even though it had the original retail tags attached, it was considered used because it had a couple of little dings um, here and there. That I've never done before, so I wanted to um, share it with you. I did use it already, I'm not going to lie, and as far as unboxings, I have a little bit of an issue with unboxings, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't want to, you know, be the party poop, uh, I don't want to spoil anyone's fun, but um, cardboard boxes that sit in warehouses can draw attention to little critters and little critters and their eggs and cardboard is um, an organic substance that little critters can also live on and eat and survive um so i've always been told don't bring cardboard boxes in your house you know unless you really inspect them thoroughly and and whatnot um so i've always had a little bit of an, an issue with bringing boxes in my um, deliveries are usually on the side of my house, which is a door that leads to my basement. So there's a hallway there. And usually what I do is as soon as I get a delivery, I open up the box either right outside if it's not like pouring or snowing, um, and I leave the box on the side of my house, or I bring it right into my hallway and I leave the box there and I take whatever you know I have in the box. So usually, what I do is unbaggings. I might have it in the dust bag, I'll reveal it. Um, but again, you're not gonna see me actually opening too many boxes on my channel because I have a fear. Um, the little critters, by the way, are roaches. They live in cardboard, they breed in cardboard, they eat off cardboard. Um, so, you know, I'm not saying don't bring them into your house. Be careful. Inspect the box, maybe even wipe it down, give it a spray, just, that's just me. Again, I don't wanna, you know, be the party pooper. I know people love to watch unboxing. It's the enjoyment, it's the fun, opening it and tearing it open and here it is. Um, but me personally, I have a little bit of a eh, thing about that. So when I say I'm gonna do an unboxing, it's usually gonna be an unbagging. It might be in the dust bag. I might never have taken it out of the dust bag, um, but I might not be showing an actual unboxing unless I feel very comfortable about where the box came from and then I checked it out. Anyway, let's get started. I bought this bag. I've been looking at this bag for a while. I wanted a work bag. Now I'm very petite. I'm only 5'1-ish, 5'1 and a half, small frame. But when I go to work, I bring a big bag because I carry everything with me. Um, only on the weekends do I use my mini bags, my little bags, and whatnot. I've been looking at the um, 
this bag for a while. It comes in a variety of sizes, all the way from nano to um, what they call a medium. Um, and on the videos, it's very hard to tell how it's going to look on somebody my size. Um, so all the videos that I've come across, the girls have been showing it, you know, mod shots and showing it on the camera. We know that the camera makes things look bigger, including people. Um, but I couldn't get a good idea and I never saw the bag in person. I didn't feel like driving all the way to the store because it's not that close to me just to see. So I said, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to buy this bag off a of fashion file. And I have to tell you that again, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Now, let me, let me just open this. Let me unbag this. Here we go. It's a big one. So, you know, like I said, I'm a petite gal. Does it work for me? We'll, we'll figure that out. Here it is. You might know now once I turn it. Here we go. And behold, my medium Giovanni Antigona. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, in the night blue. Let me just get rid of my dust bag. Oh, over there. This bag is fairly large, but it's not as big as what I thought it would be. Um, I thought I was going to be happier with the small. Um, and then when this came, I said, let me chance it. I, I, I took this out of the bag and I was like, wow, this is, this is a great work bag. Am I going to carry this around a mall on a weekend? Absolutely not. Am I gonna carry it, you know, to the park on a summer day? No, I'm not. But for work, it's it's fantastic. And I wanted something in a blue, in a dark blue. I don't have a dark blue large bag and I wear a lot of um, blue. I wear dark jeans. I'm allowed to dress like business casual at work so I could wear dark jeans um, with a nice top, you know, that kind of thing. So I wanted dark blue. This blue is fabulous. I like a dark blue, but I don't like a dark blue that looks black when you look at it and you can't really tell, is it blue, is it black, is it blue, is it black? I don't like that. This bag, I don't know how it looks on the screen, is a real blue, but it's dark. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the condition, I, I'm really impressed. The condition is amazing. Let me just give it a little spin here. There's a couple of um, scuffs, but not very noticeable. It, it's a big bag. It has that beautiful, chunky, silver tone zipper. It opens pretty smooth. Some people say that it's hard to get in and out. It's, it opens okay. It's not difficult. And honestly, the, um, the zipper, it's smooth and the teeth are kind of rounded. So I have not had that issue where I'm scratching my hand apart going in and out. I also bought um, a bag insert for it and it does come with a strap. So let me show you the strap. The strap is not um, very long. It's really, um, it's not adjustable, but it does have the swivel. And if anyone knows Givenchy, it's a very kind of strange the way they um, have the hook to hook onto your bag. But once you get the hang of it, it, it works okay. Um, and it hasn't fallen off. I know people complain that sometimes it, the strap will fall off because it'll kind of match up to the, to the little, to the little um, hole and then it'll just pop off. But that hasn't happened to me. And again, I wear this to work. So I carry it. I put it in the car, I carry it into the office, I put it on a shelf. So this strap was, you know, isn't an issue right now anyway. So, but it's not adjustable. Um, it fits on, um, you know, it, it's, it's not crossbody. And, and besides, you can't really crossbody a bag of this size, um, which I will put the size down below in the description box. Let me just attach this. If I can see without my glasses, that should be interesting. 
Oh, okay. See, it wasn't, wasn't as hot as I thought it would be. Here we go. Okay, so I have some plastic in there. I know you can't see me, but you don't want to see me. You want to see the bag. And I bought on Amazon this big insert. I will put the name of it. Again, I don't know how to link. Forgive me, but I'll put the exact name of it. Um, and it was from Amazon and the size I took down below. It's a big insert. It's huge. Here it is. It's big. It's huge. And it fits in here, you know, very nicely. The bag is a very spacious bag. It's very spacious. It has two wall pockets. Where are you? Two wall pockets and a large zipper. Um, I'm going to stand up so you can see how it looks on me. And again, it, it's, it's very hard to tell on screen because I kept looking at different, you know, reviews on this bag. And I kept saying, well, how, how tall is that person? They forgot to mention how, you know, how is she, is she big? Is she tall? Um, does she have large hands, small hands? I have very small hands. My hand, my whole arm goes through this. I could probably get this on my shoulder, but I have a very small, you know, I'm small. My hands are small, my arm's small. Um, so let me move back here so you can see how it looks. Easily on the crook of my arm, no problem. It is large. I'm not gonna say it's not large, um, but it's a great work bag if you need a large bag. So I'm just telling everybody that being, you know, five foot one, pretty small frame, small hands, the bag will work for you if you want it. It's not super huge. I don't even feel, it's not even as big as the um, uh, Louis Vuitton, what you, you know, I always forget the name of it, the um, Neverfull. I have the MM Neverfull in the Louis Vuitton. This is smaller. So if you carry the MM Neverfull, this won't be an issue for you. It's not going to be too big. This is the strap on my shoulder. It looks big. It does look big. It looks bigger on the screen. It doesn't look that big in person. So that's, you know, I get out of the car. I throw this on my shoulder. This, you know, comes up high and they don't, uh, they don't, lay down the straps. That could be annoying for some people, a little bit, you know, under, but it, it doesn't bother me. I throw it on my shoulder, I go into my office, I take it off, I put it down, and that's pretty much what I do with it. It's a beautiful blue. I know my coloring, my camera isn't the greatest. It's my laptop. It's an, not even like an updated laptop. Um, the hardware is beautiful. Like I said, the condition of this, it was called excellent. Um, I don't look at anything other than excellent or giftable or new on, on Fashion File. Um, this was excellent and it did say it had a couple of scuffs, um, no corner wear, the bottom. Beautiful condition. It, it said faint scratches on the hardware. I don't see any scratches on the hardware at all. It really is, it's a beautiful bag, and I would definitely um, recommend it, and I'm really happy with this um, Fashion File purchase again. That's uh, two in a row that I've been really pleased with. So, you know, with the price of new bags today and the price increases, a lot more people are gonna be turning to pre-owned, including myself. Um, so far, two really good um, experiences with Fashion File. So um, I recommend it. And if you're petite and you were thinking about this bag in the medium and you weren't sure, do it, do it. At least get it home, try it. It looks far bigger on the computer screen than it does in person. It's definitely, it, it works. Even for us little gals, it works. Um, I can't say anything else about it. I love the bag. I'm very happy. I'm keeping it and you know, 
I don't know if I'll do a what fits because I'll tell you what fits. Everything, everything fits in there. This is a huge, you know, this one is the, is, um, I think it was the brand, which I'll, you know, describe, put in the description. Um, it was their large size. It, it might have been their medium, I'm not sure. But it, it, this is huge, you know, and it, it goes in there. And I, I'm very happy with it. Like I said, I'll give you one last whirl. You can't see me. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. The hardware is absolutely gorgeous. Look how it's, it's, it, it looks like brand new. It shines. There's no scratches. Even though they said faint scratches, I don't see any. It's, it's beautiful. And I'm very happy with this purchase. So, like I said, if you were thinking about the medium Antigona, this one is called Night Blue. I know different sites, if they have them, they might call them, you know, different, you know, it, it might be a, you know, the blues might be called a different um, name. I'm not sure. But this one was called Night Blue um, on Fashion File. And it definitely is a night blue. It's definitely blue, not black at all. And it works absolutely for um, anyone who's looking for a nice, uh, a large work bag, but something that's not humongous. And it's really not humongous. So if you were thinking about it, take the chance, get it, love it. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Hope you give me a thumbs up. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I'll figure it out. Have a great day.